Hello to all students. I hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to discuss structure, function and types of different feather in birds. As you know that all the birds usually have exoskeleton in the form of feathers on their body surface. So there are three different types of feathers which are present in birds. Number one, the main type of feather is known as contour feather. Number two, down feather and number three phylo plume feathers so first of all we are going to look at the structure of these feathers so to understand the structure of feather let's start with the beginning or production of a feather inside the skin of the birds so i have taken a cross section of a skin from a bird's skin the lower portion of the skin is known as the main portion of the skin is known as dermis and as you know that dermis has an upper layer which is known as epidermis just uh, in the middle or in the skin and the dermis there is a depression which is known as follicle this is a place where a new feather will germinate or will produce and as you can see in this diagram this is a developing feather which is going to become a new feather now let's move on to the next diagram in this diagram as you can see this is a dermis and this is epidermis now this dermis has been provided with blood supply as you can see over here red and blue are blood vessels which are going to supply different uh, nutrition chemicals which are necessary for the formation of feather so now this feather has become little bit enlarged and it has a outer protective layer which is known as cornified sheath inside there are blood vessel these are future bobs and this new feather is going to become within few days at this stage the feather is immature if you cut this feather it will start bleeding because uh, it is going to be keratinized after the formation of complete feather when feather become mature it's shaped like this one it has a vein at the base of the vein there is a quill which is known as calamus with the help of quill and calamus these feathers are embedded in the follicles of the dermis if you look in the vein as, as you can see in this diagram there is a black uh, vein which is known as shaft this is the main portion of the shaft which support the feathers from the shaft arises small branches which are known as barbs as you you can see in this diagram these are small vein like structure which are originating from the shaft these are barbs and then these barbs are divided into barbules as you can see in this diagram i have taken a cross section from this feather and enlarged it in the microscope to understand the details so this is a shaft in the black color and from the shaft arising from these shaft these are barbules and uh, uh, sorry this is a shaft and these are barbules and in between the barbule in the red color you can see the barbules shaft barbs and barbules so i have taken a small portion right over here from to understand more clearly so this is a barb barb as you can see in the uh, black color and from barb arising red color barbules these barbules has hooks at the terminal portion these hooks are known as hemulus or hemuli these hemuli interlock with each other and a smooth surface of feather is formed so in this way the smallest uh, unit of the feather is hemuli which interlock with each other forming a network like structure which is known as barbules these barbules join together and form a barb barb and these barbs join together to make a shaft and shaft is in the center and this whole vein like structure is known as feather the main feather type is contour feather the function of contour feather these contour feathers can be narrower wider 
shorter or smaller and they are located on different parts of the body like in the head region in the wings in the tails and they are used to fly for steering for insulating and for mating and courtship and different they have different functions in the life history of birds the second type of uh, feathers which are little bit shorter than counter feathers these are known as down feathers down feathers are usually known as insulating feathers because they insulate the bird's body so they are more wider and less long and they have large surface area to cover the skin of the birds as you know that birds needs high metabolic rate for the uh, function of flight so they want to keep their body temperature constant and maintaining a high metabolic rate to so to do that to avoid the loss of heat from their body they cover their body with the help of down feathers this down feathers protect and insulate the body so that the heat cannot be escaped from their body so this is known as endothermy which is a process of thermoregulation in birds the third type of feathers are known as phylloplume feathers which are also known as pin feathers these are located on different positions in the body and different parts of the body these feathers have narrow shaft like a needle and a small wider portion at the terminal portion these feathers are usually sensory and detect a different kind of stimuli coming from the environment so these uh, are different types structure of feather now we are going to discuss some more important terminology with respect to the feathers the first term is known as plumage the holes covering of the feathers on the surface of the skin of the birds is known as plumage and plumage include different types of feather on the body of the birds preening birds during different activities like bathing like uh, reproduction and like feeding like other activities usually their feathers become chafed so to keep them smooth and healthy uh, birds use preening preening is a mechanism with in which birds use their beaks to uh, make their feathers smooth because during different activities the hemuli of barbules they disturb and they with the help of beak they readjust their hemuli of the feathers and make the birds straight again and uh, one more thing uh, during preening they take a uh, fatty oil from their tail and uh, rub on the surface of the feathers to keep them smooth shiny and uh, waterproof the next term is known as anting this is very important uh, phenomena in the feathers usually birds uh, find some ants and with the help of be beaks uh, they pick up ants and rub on the surface of the feathers the formic acid which is present in the sting of the ant or in the body of the ants is uh, rubbed on the surface of feathers so that if there are some parasites like ticks and mites in the feathers they can be killed with the help of this formic acid so in this way they can always keep uh, their feathers neat healthy and clean from parasites dirt and everything as you can see birds sitting on the in the sunlight or in the in the shadow and they are uh, using their beaks to clean up all their feathers the next uh, terminology is coloring as you can see the birds contain different types of colors blue feathers yellow feathers and so many beautiful colors these coloration present in the feather is not due to the uh, the feathers has color because but uh, feathers contain some chemicals pigments in their feathers in their shaft which reflect light so when suppose uh, a bird feathers has blue color so when light of the sun sunlight falls on the surface of the feathers all the light wavelengths are absorbed except blue and the blue light is reflecting back into your eye so that is why you can see blue color of the wings in the same way a uh, parrot shows green color and other birds can also show different types of coloration in their wings due to the reflection of lights due to different chemical present in their uh, shaft or in the skin of the feather surface of the feathers 
there is also very important terms which is also known as molting which is related to feather as you know that uh, birds uh, fall fell down their feathers periodically these feathers when fall off from their body this is known as molting and they produce new feathers after molting usually the first uh, feathers which come uh, from the baby of the feather which is known as chicks these are down feathers when they uh, chicks become adult there is a uh, pre juvenile molting during which all the feathers drop and new feathers uh, are uh, produced in the uh, skin of the birds later on when they become adult there another another molting during which all the uh, previous feathers are dropped and new feathers are uh, produced on the in the skin of the birds so there are different uh, are usually three types of uh, molting takes place during the life history of the birds usually during the molting the uh, mechanism is that usually uh, the wings or the feathers produce in a periodic manner and uh, new feathers uh, are continuously producing and the older feathers are continuously falling down from the body but some birds they usually drop their all their feathers at once in this way they are at the risk of uh, uh, be prey for a predator so they hide inside the bushes until their new feather come out and then they again start their normal life so in this way today we had discussed uh, some different types of feathers their structure and function hopefully it makes sense and then we'll see you in the next lecture until then bye